approximately uh, 9.30 we had a report of a vehicle and, and a tanker that had collided on the freeway. Uh, initial reports were that there was a two vehicle accident. It turned out that it was a single vehicle accident. The uh, tanker alone, uh, uh, at this point, uh, they're looking. it looks like he may have blown a tire and lost control of the vehicle. They're still investigating that. That's very preliminary at this point. Um, however, in the process, the truck did hit the bridge and the tank tore off of the truck. He had just loaded 2,900 gallons of uh, fuel oil and uh, it is now spread across 95 and into the median. Uh, the tank completely split and is empty. You mean it's spread across 91? Uh, 91, I'm sorry, yes, okay. 91. It took a little bit of effort on our side to get it controlled just because it's a fuel oil fire and they don't uh, cooperate like a, a typical fire would, but they did manage to get it under control relatively fast. We uh, know that the driver of the truck was injured. We don't know to what extent. A uh, civilian uh, was behind him who saw the accident, pulled him from the vehicle, uh, and uh, he was transported to a hospital. I'm not sure which hospital he was tra transported to at this time. Uh, I understand he was banged up pretty bad. Well, there's there's some logistical problems just with the highway. As you know, there's been uh, pretty, pretty good traffic uh, in both directions. Uh, what we're doing right now is we're mobilizing units to basically to take care of the, the, the road surface first so, so we can open up the highway and then there's a sizable uh, release area in the median uh, uh, between the highways which we're going to address. Uh, we have to have them come out and inspect the bridge, inspect the pavement, there's some pretty massive cleanup to be done and all of that has to be done before they can establish the freeway open again.